Hi and welcome. Uh, in a video that I made about uh, two years ago about building a computer, I made a mistake that I wish to correct now. What I said in that video, uh, the, the mistake is related to uh, how to configure your uh, cooling for the, for the computer housing, for the computer case. And in that video I said that it is better to have the air pushed, pushed out of the, the case and not actively uh, sucking it in or at least to keep that at a minimum because the fans that suck the air in uh, do that at a higher speed and are more likely to drag greater <laughs> particles of dust, dust and a lot more of them. Uh, that is still uh, what I think is a good idea unless your computer case has uh, good decent dust filters that can be removed and cleaned. So based on my uh, latest experience over the past 12 months, I had a construction site right in front of my <laughs> house a flat and the amount of dust was really awful, but I got a computer case that does have a good uh, filter. This is the, I'm not sure if you can catch it on camera. I might make a separate video and review of this case, but uh, things in computer world change so quickly that after you've tested something for one year to know if it's any good, they put a new model, they discontinue the old, so it's a bit of a, how do I say, pointless effort in many ways. But uh, uh, sorry about that digression. Anyway, the, based on my experience over the past 12 months, I would say that it's better to have uh, more air uh, sucked into your computer case but using the fans that are behind good filters. Uh, in that case, uh, when you have more air sucked in, but with, with, with fans behind filters, uh, all the air gets filtered and you are creating a bit of a pressure inside your computer case and that prevents air from coming in through any other openings in the case that do not have filters. And so the, the overall total amount of dust that, and dirt that accumulates is a lot lower. And I, I, I tested this extensively in very extreme conditions. And so based on my experience <laughs> so far, uh, that, that's what I think and that is what I would recommend and that's what I do. Now when you are doing that, uh, you can uh, test and confirm if there is any air being sucked in to the case from other other places. So for example in this case, the, in this case pun intended, the front filter has a mesh that filters dust and that's where my intake fans are and the outtake is in the in the rear and so I could, I don't have a, a sample right now but those sticks that you light and they smell good and have a, a nice, a nice uh, uh, smoke that you can see easily, they are a, a simple and a very practical solution. Just uh, be careful to not uh, put any dust or, or set anything on fire, remove curtains away and similar. But you can get that stick around your case and see if, if anywhere except where the intakes are, you see the air being sucked into the, the case or that smoke. If it uh, gets sucked into the case anywhere else, that means that you have not created enough uh, air intake and that air is coming in in some other places as well. So you have a bit of a, a, a lower pressure inside your case than it is the situation outside of the case. So that's, uh, I will try to make uh, uh, videos of showing my case and the amount of dust and uh, the construction site uh, uh, as I'm uh, talking this, it's not a very dynamic video, it's just a sort of a correction that I think is a good idea and uh, fair to make. And uh, that's it. I hope to see you soon in a video from a workshop with some tools and bicycles preferably, but I wanted to make this, this uh, correction and uh, this is the, the crown jewel of my 
design uh, talent so I'll put a link where you can buy this shirt so I can make millions and uh, <laughs> that's it thank you very much for watching and stay cool see you in some other video